Hey you guys, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I just woke up, that's why I got the manly voice, okay? <laughs> but anyways, you guys, this is going to be a cooking vlog, okay? I'm going to be making chuck pot roast in my crock pot, okay? With potatoes, onions, you know, all that stuff. With rice on the side and cornbread okay i ain't got no carrots because we don't really eat carrots so ain't no need to cook no we're just gonna throw them away so don't even start that mess <laughs> now i'm gonna be honest with y'all <laughs> i don't know how to cook pot roast in no crock pot okay just being honest so y'all help me out in the comments i know it'll already be done before y'all can help me but help me out in the comments <laughs> But anyways, you guys, let's just go ahead and start the cooking vlog. <laughs> okay, so you guys, to make the pot roast, of course we're gonna need the pot roast, okay? Of course, that's like number one. And I paid $13.29 for this chuck pot roast, okay? It don't expire to January 8th, today January 4th. So yeah, we good. <laughs> I'm gonna cook yellow rice with it on the side. Of course, I'm gonna need an onion. I got my potatoes to go in with the pot roast. I got some better than beef bouillon or better than bouillon beef roasted. Girl, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got some cornbread muffins I'm gonna make on the side and then we're gonna need the beef broth. And of course, we're gonna need our ensemble. We're gonna need her, the crop bread, you know? Get into her, okay? Love on her, all right? And then I'm gonna use either or these seeds. I don't know yet, <laughs> okay? So that's all we're gonna need to make this recipe. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take this chuck pot roast out of the pot and wash it off. Y'all see that? Ooh, it look like a steak. That is big. It is. It look like it's already ready to fall off the bone, honey. Yeah, it's so big. <clears throat> I'm gonna rinse it off a bit. Look at that, it look like a steak. This really look like a T-bone steak, for real. I don't know. <laughs> it feel like it already wanna fall off the bone. Look at that, y'all. It ain't gonna take no time to cook this. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put the crop, put the, um, go ahead and put the pot roast in here. Look how it's doing, y'all. It's acting like it. Look at that, Taylor. Okay, so we got it inside, y'all. I just wanna do more. We're gonna go ahead and season it with some garlic powder. I love garlic powder. Then we're gonna okay. use a little bit of Tony's Creole seasoning. Just a little bit because I don't want it to be too spicy. I like spiciness. I know, but. And then. Put more. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use some of this beef bouillon. What like gel? Why I keep saying beef bouillon? <laughs> Beef bouillon. <laughs> Beef it, lo it looks like gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, it kind of do like the black style and gel. <laughs> so we're gonna put like a tablespoon of this, y'all, cause it's kind of thick. Y'all see that? What does it even do? It's like, it makes like a juice. You remember how when we made that chili? That's That was that juice. Smell good, smell it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use some complete seasoning in here. And I'm gonna turn it over and season the other side too, y'all. I'm gonna use a half a pack of this Lipton beefy onion. The beefy onion too. It's gonna use half. Cause it's salty. It's salty. Okay. Wait, this is from Lipton? Mm-hmm. I thought Lipton just make tea. Mm -hmm. Me too. 
<laughs> so look at that, y'all. That look like dust. It I ain't even gonna cap. Okay, so then we're gonna turn it over. Like onion dust. Yeah, I'm turn it on. Dust. I'm turn it on. Man, you just crushing the bully. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we gotta have a season on the other side, too. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna put some complete season on this side. Oh, yeah. This garlic powder because it's already open. Some garlic powder. <laughs> Onion powder. I should have kept it open. And what else? Oh, Tony Creole seasoning. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Then we're going to put some. Beef broth in. We're gonna put one cup for right now. The juice. Oh. So that make it juice too, because it's literally. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use. Man. Mm. Like apple juice. Like apple cider vinegar to me. Yeah. Y'all see that? Okay. It smells like beef noodles. Then we're gonna put a little bit of butter in there. Stay right there. Okay. Look at that beautiful. Um. We're gonna put a little bit of, ooh. We're gonna put a little, little bit of butter. Y'all don't judge me because I told y'all I don't know how to make no rolls, okay? I know how to cook, but I don't know how to make a roll. So. <laughs> Y'all see that? Cause they got low, high, and then warm. So we're gonna put it on high. Okay. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna cut up the potatoes and rinse them off. And then put them in the pot. I like to cut my potatoes in half. That way I know they're done. I like to actually see the potato inside. I don't know, y'all. I'm a little weird. Okay, now I'm gonna cut my onion up, you guys. My red onion. I love red onion. I'm gonna wash this off. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna add one more cup of beef broth just so it won't be dry in here. Y'all see that? What is they doing up there? I don't know if y'all can hear that, but they is, my neighbors is loud, y'all. You hear that? Okay, so I'm just put the onions in there just like that, y'all. What I'm doing is just soak it all time. Look at all that wrapping. Mm-hmm. That's what I like about onions. They're good. I want to you can't like really wrapping. like cut it because it has a lot of wrapping. They get unwrapped, baby. Yeah, they be putting it like on burgers. Mm-hmm, it's good like that. I don't like to use all that, though. I'm glad Naomi said to use some of the butter because that's what's going to help it kind of um, stay moist. So thank you, Naomi. Wait, now this part looks crazy. Dang, my smoke detector going dead. I hear the battery. A little beep sound in your house. 
So this is all I'm putting in right now. And then I'm gonna close the lid. And we're gonna give it about like an hour and then we're gonna check on it in an hour. Okay, so you guys, it is 12 24 p.m. in the afternoon. So one of my subbies said it should be about like 4 p.m. when the roast is done. So we're gonna check on it within one hour and see how it's doing, okay? And then I'm gonna cook the cornbread and the yellow rice like close to when the roast is finished cooking, okay? So I will be right back. Ooh, you guys, it is cooking, okay? Do y'all see that? It's cooking. Ooh, and it smells so good, y'all. Okay, so you guys, it's now 424, so it's been about four hours. That's how the food looks. Let's check the steak. I mean, the, <laughs> the pot rolls. Mm. Okay, so the potatoes, they look like they're pretty tender. They look so good. They do. They smell better. This one tender. Let me see what mm. I meat at, y'all. Let's see what I meat at. What about, <gasps> oh. Ooh. Look at the meat. Mm. It smell good. Oh, wow. Should we taste it? Yeah. Look at that meat. Hold oh, on, I'm trying to show y'all how the meat look, y'all. Mom, look at it, y'all. Now see it. Mm, it ain't falling yet, though. It ain't falling off the bone yet, y'all. So mm. we're going to let it cook for about maybe an hour more or two. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cook the yellow rice. I'm going to cook probably about a cup and a half because my kids don't really eat the rice like that. Y'all see I got on the stove. Here's the half cup. And then for this, since this is a cup and a half, I'm gonna use three cups of water. Okay, okay so you guys, I'm about to make the cornbread. And that's some real cornbread right there. Seen it? Oh, wow. So. Okay, so you guys, the rice is done. Oh, it looks so juicy. Okay, so you guys, Jeremy is going to do the toothpick trick. Yeah, you see this toothpick. Yeah, let's see if the cornbread is done. I'm gonna do it right in the middle. Hope you're doing good, boy. It's hot. Okay, pick it up. Let's see if any um cornbread come off. No. No, I think it's done then, you guys. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so you guys, the rice and the cornbread is done. Let's see about the roast. Ooh, woo! Baby! Let's taste this thing. Looks tender, I don't know that much. This thing. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's done, y'all. It's done. And it's 5 46 p.m. It's done. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's time to eat. Oh, look at them onions, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, so you guys, this is how my plate looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, that will be it for this cooking vlog. The kids are in eating and enjoying their food. I'm about to chow out on my food. That's why I'm gonna hurry up and get dumped this long. <laughs> I got to go, okay, so I can eat y'all. <laughs> but if you guys like this juicy mm -hmm, cooking vlog, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and also put that notification bell on so you and her back down and him down now and her over there
And your cousin over there can be notified every time we post new cooking vlogs. Bye. It's not funny, okay? Uh, stay. <laughs>